with these exercises, you're being told that P and Q have unknown truth value. A and B are true. And C and D are false. You're then asked to compute the truth value of different formula. Some are easy to figure out. For example, this formula, C and P. Given that C is false, even though we don't know the truth value of P, we know that the compound here will be false. After all, a conjunction is false whenever either one of its conjuncts is false. It gets a little bit more interesting when we have a sentence like this. We don't know whether P is true or false, so it may appear that we can't figure this out, but actually we can. It just takes a little bit of hypothetical thinking. P is either true or false. Now we don't know which one. If P is true, then we know that the whole sentence is true. After all, disjunctions are true whenever either of the disjuncts is true, and here the left disjunct is true. Well, now suppose that P is false. If P is false, then the disjunction is actually still true. In this case, it's the right-hand disjunct that makes the sentence true. So then what about this one? Here, we can still figure out the truth value of this compound. We're out of luck with the antecedent. If P is true, then the antecedent is true. If P is false, then the antecedent is false. So that's going to remain unknown. But what about the consequent? Q is either true or false. And we don't know which one. If Q is true, the consequent ends up being true also. If Q is false, the consequent is still true. And with conditionals, as long as the consequent is true, then the entire conditional is true. There's one more thing to notice about this sentence. If you take a look at this embedded sentence, notice that it's a contradiction. We know that contradictions are false no matter what, meaning whatever goes inside of them, if it's a contradiction, it will always, always be false. We're also saying that we're negating this contradiction. The negation of a contradiction is, in fact, a tautology. It's always true. Thus, what we've got here is something than a tautology. And that will always be true.